but this video is about uh, inner and outer tie rods. Well, we're going to be doing the passenger side today, but uh, since we've already pulled the wheel off, I just want to show how we do the little uh, little wiggle test. Okay, well here's the outer tie rod here. So we're going to be checking this joint here, and there's another joint under this boot here for play. A couple symptoms while you're driving is you'll notice that uh, you have a little bit of wandering while you're holding the steering wheel straight. You hit a bump and the, the vehicle might dance a little bit left to right or uh, the steering wheel itself is just overall slightly loose. Once you lift the vehicle up you give it a little bit of a, a wiggle at the uh, 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock position see if there's any play if you feel like there's anything loose and you can also have somebody go underneath the vehicle and see if you get movement here versus here these should move in relation to each other and not have any movement as well as back there. Well once you've determined that you've got a little bit of play in these uh, fine uh, pieces of machinery you want to head on down to the, the auto parts store and grab a few goodies and then we can start disassembly. Okay I've said this a few times and I'm gonna say it again we do things our way and not the right way so we're showing you what we're doing. So because we don't have a fancy alignment machine, we're going to be marking where these are in their rotation, where this is set up, how far it's threaded on, versus how far this is all set up uh, with the jam nut. We're going to mark that, and uh, when we reassemble with the new ones, we're going to make sure that we get it kind of close. It's not going to be perfect, but we're going to mark it. So let me know that's facing upwards. Well, that's not straight at all. Yay! There we go. Yeah, we'll back her off. Oh, see, see that, see that inner tie rod turning? Seized on the, uh, seized on the inner. Ew. Now we're going to zip this guy off. If you guys ever have an issue getting this out of the knuckle, there's two ways you can do it. There's a little pickle fork you can just wedge in here and you pound it in. And if you don't care about this boot, that's one way to get it off. Or you can get a three or four pound sledgehammer and you can just tap the spindle part, not the tie rod. You want to tap this part and that'll give it enough shock to loosen up. See, it pops right out like no one's business. That's the quickest way. You just take that puppy right off. Seize jam nuts in the way. So get some vice grips and your little zipper. Okay, once all that's out of the way, we've got this little clip, you just want to give her a little pinchy, slide it off of there. On the underside, see right there, we got a little uh, twisty clamp. Now you can cut that out, and then you'll be able to pull the boot off. Alright, give her a good tug. Oh Oof. yeah. Oof. Give her a little twist. Oh. Oof. <laughs> Bad joint, you bad. Well, if it was good, you would kind of stay wherever you put it. Yeah. But she's uh, floppier than uh, I'll let you guys finish that one. Okay, so now we're to this part. There's two ways we can take this off. We can do this the El Cheapo way. In your back home garage, you get that puppy on there and you just go at her. Or you get the uh, fancy schmancy tool that you see in the dealerships, uh, a nice Mac tool with uh, a wonderful little one of those where it just grabs onto the end and you spin her off and the other end has a, has a half inch drive on it. And that's the proper way. Now you just What? 
See, a new inner tie rod doesn't flop around. Nice and stiff. Okay, so the spirit of uh, redneck ingenuity. We're, uh, we put the old jam nut back together with the old tie rod assembly. And uh, we measured where everything was originally. And we're roughly 11 and a half for the whole length. So we're gonna try and match that as close as we can with the new stuff. Put some Loctite on there. Blue if you wanna take it off. Red if you never wanna take it off again. <laughs> I, I, th I think green's even tougher than red if I remember <laughs> correctly. Ooh. This is the proper tool for installation. Now that it's all tight, we've got the two markings there where we're going to reassemble and then we'll be right at the exact same length as the other ones. Okay, boots on. Sort of. The, uh, Back zip tie is on. Now we're just finagling to get the front part over the bump into the necessary spot. Okay, so boots all clamped on. We ran the jam nut in there until it uh, matched the paint marks. Threaded this puppy on. Slid it back in the hole. We're just going to tighten that down and we're going to tighten our jam nut. Yeah. Don't forget to grease your nips. Nice and greasy. Just shove it on and... There you go. Greasy. Better wipe off your pistol after you uh, finish shooting. <laughs> Dude, 